All right. This is not really a review of the spray wand assembly that you'll see in parts and all that stuff. What it is is a preventative thing that you can do to help make it last a little bit longer. This is the spray wand, okay? Electric, yada yada. It has a battery that sits here, it has a motor down here, control right there, USB. Okay, enough said. What you're gonna see in here is basically um, the guts of it. For the manual, it says don't ever disassemble, but I'm gonna explain why. Your circuit board, which is this right here, is exposed, okay? And it can get corroded. You'll see blue crusties and close up pictures. This actually was not what failed. What failed was the motor. The motor, from some weird way, got water. Now, in this assembly, this thing is not waterproof. It's not even grooved, it's just plated up to each other. So what I found is real easy. In the circuit board, you'll see in the picture, the same circuit board, where I went with the new one and I went ahead and I went across it and put hot glue all the way around it. Just craft glue, okay? So I basically covered up any of the exposed metal that's in there so it doesn't have a chance if water does get in there to cause a corrosion problem. The second thing I did was after putting it all back together, um, there's really no way to protect the motor. So I know that was a big concern. So if I lose a motor, I lose a motor, but when I get down into the guts of it, I can find those motors all day. So now I can replace the motor. But what I did do is here, here, and here, I went ahead and used regular pipe tape, wrapped it up a couple wraps, and then clamped it on. Because down here, there's really nothing, no packing or anything here. And there's no pack, or you've got the green packing here. But what happens is inside is a packing. You smash up but it's still, water will still bleed by and it gets through the threads. Once it comes down in the threads, it might migrate down in here and then run off in here, okay? The same problem here. This is what I think got because normally I hold my, or I have it clamped up and it's always hanging out like this. So over time, I think what happened was water got down in through here, seeped down through here, got to the motor. So with the pipe tape on here, it actually, in the video behind, you're gonna see where it ran and I have no more leaks. I can leave it around all over the place and no issue. So a lot of people were pissed about these on Amazon because they were leaking or it stopped working. Well, the reason why it stopped working was, like I said, I had the green crusties all over this. So I took regular, electric cleaner, cleaned it up, scrubbed it up a little bit, and it works. Now, I know somebody's gonna say, well, your motor's not connected. I understand that, but that's how I troubleshoot and found that the motor actually was what was toasted. So I still get the volts out here and the battery, you know, everything it charges still does this thing. So this is gonna go in the backup parts, but the other thing was, this is what your connection really looks like. So this is where the one would connect and this is where your back inlet hose. And you can see that those are very coarse threads and there's really nothing there. And the thing is, is right here, this is where that hose mates up to it. There's no real, there's no packing or anything. So you can take hot glue and put it around here if you want. I personally didn't this time because I didn't see anything no major issue. So I just took the tape, wrapped it here, wrapped it here, connected it. And you'll see in the video, it did great. So this strap as usual, I'm trying to help anybody. If you have a problem with these things, feel free to ask. It might be a little something we can work together. But anyways, as usual, look out for each other and have a great and safe day. Thank you for watching.